Welcome back. It's Friday roundup time again. Uh, we missed a couple of weeks because we've just been crazy busy. Uh, but we've got a few things to show you. The Cortina, we're getting on with that. Uh, I'm not going to go into any detail on that, but we're developing the four link stroke six link kit for that. We're going to do a video on that with a bit more in depth. But the thing we're going to talk about today is some new products that are coming and some existing products that are now back in stock. So we've already done a video about the wheels, the Group 5 alloys, and a lot of people uh, have uh, commented in the video saying, are oh, you going to be doing them in a six, uh, sorry, not a six, we're already doing a six, doing them in a seven or a six and a half. So we've now got the prototypes of those and we've signed those off and they're going into production. So what you can see here is this one here that's got the tire on is a five and a half J. Um, and that's the colour they're going to be. Now we had a sample of this sort of anthracite colour and we had a sample of the black colour, but I think everybody, including all the lads in the office and the workshop and in the stores have said the grey is the one. So we're going with the grey. I like the black, but we're, we're going to go with the grey. So if you're going to purchase any of these wheels, they will be in the grey. So five and a half, that one's a six. This is a 6.5. Now, a lot of companies don't manufacture a 6.5, and I'm not sure why, because on a Martin Cortina, a seven's a bit too big, and a six, potentially, you could go a little bit wider. So um, we're hoping that these are gonna go on a Cortina fine. Uh, they, they should do. Um, and then we've got the sevens, which potentially sort of your arched, uh, bubble arched and forest arched escorts could potentially run a seven. In the future, we might do a seven and a half, uh, but these are all now in production. They'll come with a center cap. We do a flat cap and we do that raised cap to miss the front um, dust cover. So uh, they're, they're all in production. Lots of people are asking how much you're gonna be. We haven't finalized that yet, um, but we're sort of, we're getting towards the end of that now. Um, and then one other product that has been out of stock forever um, is the Mazda MX-5 to Ford adapter plates. Um, these are normally out of 15 mil aluminium. And typically we were having these water jet cut and then we've got a fixture to machine them. Uh, but the price of aluminium sort of gone through the roof a little bit and we've struggled with the quality on a couple of the manufacturers that were doing them for us. So we've now decided that these are now made completely out of billet. So they're not water jet, they're complete billet. And we've added the hard black anodizing, put a logo on it. So yeah, I think quite a few people have been waiting for these to come back into stock so that they can get their Mazda box up to the back of their Ford. So they're, they're back in stock, they're on the website. Uh, on, you, you can order those, they'll come to you next day. So I think that, that rounds it up for Friday. Hopefully we'll, we'll get another one next Friday. But as I say, we are crazy busy here at RetroFord. So yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend and see you again soon.